for the high hub. You might run into him and you might see him. His name is Moraz. And I don't know if he'll have much to do with you, but you should understand that he's the only hob left. For there was a great battle, a great civil war amongst the wee folk caused by two leprechaun brothers. I think I mentioned before that Haldra, she had uh, taken away and resurrected a wee dead twin baby leprechaun boy raised him to be evil, and his name is Gwildenai. Well, as the other, his brother, ascended to the throne, he returned, and there was a great war, a civil war, between the wee folk. And in that battle, the rightful brother to the throne, whose name escapes me, oh, I'm getting old, his name escapes me. Why is it you remember the bad ones, but sometimes you can't remember the good ones' names? Well, he fell in battle. Gwildenai was successful. And you could say that the forces of Haldra looked like they were going to win the battle for the Emerald Isle and the Wee Folk. The forces of evil were winning over the forces of good until one last great sacrifice was made. And that was made by the rightful king, the leprechaun prince, the good brother. For he distracted Gwildenai long enough for the high hob to gather the hobs together. Do you know what a hob is? You have no idea, do you? A hob is a spirit of the fireplace. They look like little brown gnomes to you, maybe, but... They've got powers you can't imagine, especially the High Hog. And so they gathered all their powers at once and they funneled them to Maraz. All the Hobbs working together. And when Maraz cast his spell, it killed them. All of them. One standard left on the battlefield. Greatest fire spell ever cast. Well, did I was burned, mind you, burned. They say half his body is consumed nearly. If it had not been Huldra magicking him away, he'd be dead today. Somehow, with her dark arts, she managed to preserve him. And so her forces lost the battle. And the wee folk, the good wee folk, they were victorious. But the hobs were dead. All but Maraz. He is the queen's number one advisor now. You know, the wee folk, they had nowhere to go after that. They could not remain on the isle, so burnt and destroyed and cursed it was by the battle. If it had not been for the fey queen sending her own elven forces across, across the sky of the Sea of Atlantis to save them and bring them to the western lands. They never would have survived. It's such a sad tale. And so it was that Miraz survived the battle and it is his greatest curse that he lives on the only hob left. You can see it in his eyes. Hard they are. He carries this terrible burden of honoring his dead brothers. That's why we'll deny in Heldra. Someday they must be dealt with. But for you, when you go to see the Feywood, Understand 
that all these we folk are refugees. It was the Elfwood before the Fae came. Why do you think it's called Elfheim and not Fae? It was the Elfwood before the Queen of the Elves became the Queen of all Fae, saved the lost Fae fleeing the Cursed Isle, bringing them to the Western Lands. And of course, every one of them that survived remembers it well. And they make songs now. They sing little songs of the high hob. But so you know, if you see Maraz, treat him with great respect, for he deserves it. He saved the eastern lands, at least for the time being. And I know now he works with and for the Fey Queen. <laughs> 